make sure that you're utilizing actively relevant hashtags in your videos because this is going to help you build up a quality audience of people who are actually interested in that kind of content. What's up, you guys? It's Joseph here. In today's TikTok, I want to talk about hashtags in particular. Hashtags really are one of those concepts that people know are extremely important, but they often go about blindly utilizing them without any real strategy or thought behind their actions. Most people will simply post a video with the three most popular hashtags on the platform, and we all know what those are. They might even add a couple of suggested hashtags as well in the description, but that's pretty much it. So what I want to do in this video is I really just want to provide a lot of clarity around hashtags on TikTok, how to optimize them properly and show you what I believe really is one of the most practical and best hashtag strategies. I also want to show you specific examples of how proper usage of hashtags in this way will not only increase engagement, but grow your followers really quickly and help your content go from zero views to viral and beyond. And I want to break down hashtags by talking about the three R's, hashtag relevancy, hashtag ratios, and finally hashtag research. These three concepts really are going to give us a a better understanding of hashtags on TikTok and a game plan so that we can TikTok our way to the top. Also really quickly, I don't wanna make this intro too long, but I just wanna say that I've actually opened up a couple of TikTok coaching slots if you're interested. We're talking about learning how to monetize your influence on TikTok, build a quality fan base, generate leads if you're a business. So if that's something that sounds appealing to you, you can check out the link below this video and also be sure to stick around to the end for more details. Also for those that do stick around, I'm gonna be discussing two bonus tips for using hashtags on the platform. So you don't wanna miss out on that. Without further ado, let's talk TikTok. So the first R in regards to hashtags today is hashtag relevancy. Now it's important to understand that TikTok as a platform, just like YouTube and just like Instagram will categorize and group your videos based on the hashtags that are utilized within them. That's one of the ways that it knows who exactly to show your content to. Let's take a look at an example. Josh Martin, he's a friend of mine in TikTok and he teaches mathematics on the platform, a great example of integrating education with entertainment. And by associating mathematics-based hashtags with his content, it's shown to people interested in things like math, trigonometry, geography, algebra one, algebra two, etc. This is where relevancy comes into play. If you have a specific niche or a focus, a theme with your content on the platform, make sure that you're utilizing actively relevant hashtags in your videos, because this is going to help you build up a quality audience of people who are actually interested in that kind of content. Think about your ideal audience and who in particular you want to influence on TikTok. What are they interested in? What are their characteristics? So as an example, let's do some research in the entrepreneurial industry. So assuming we have some sort of content that we've curated and that we're about to post in the entrepreneurial space, we're going to research some relevant keywords and create a list of some hashtags that we can use in an upcoming video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on to the discovery page. Let's search something broad like entrepreneur. And what I would do is I would, of course, take a look at the top users. Who comes to mind? Who is here? And of course, this is done by username and the actual name. So a lot of people that actually create content in this niche don't have that in their username. And so that's why if you don't see anything here, you don't see a lot of results here are big accounts and I don't see a whole lot of them here I mean I don't see anyone that that at least a personality that's focused on this kind of account so I'll go to hashtags and we'll start by actually researching the entrepreneur hashtag so let's just go ahead and find some videos here let's pick this one you know what hashtags are they using they've got motivation entrepreneur success okay what about this one right here you know we've got business investing stock market entrepreneur side hustle right so there's a couple i might denote side uh, you know at least write down side hustle it seems like it's something relevant to making money online and and those kinds of topics so what i might do is actually click on side hustle and we can see here a lot of examples that come up so i might pick another video here and we see job tips more you know right so there's a couple that we can we can write down there and again you can take a look at the size we see 3.7 billion views and i might write that down that's that's you know that's a that's a culture based hashtag and that's something that i'll be talking about in a later video the actual size of the the views on particular hashtags but just keep that in mind that you know it's 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 a large hashtag so there's there's a lot of attention on it um, let's go ahead and take a look at another one here. This one, you know, we see entrepreneur Amazon FBA hustle, right? There's some ideas there. We search hustle. I'm willing to bet that Gary Vee comes up with a couple of these. I don't see his videos at the top. You can imagine that he's actively utilizing these. Never mind. I was wrong. There's a video of his. We see side hustle, make money, flip life, garage sale, sports cards. This looks like it's part of 
um, you know, his, his trash series on, on garage sailing. And so, you know, there's a couple examples there that we can already denote and include in some of our own content. So that's an example, you know, normally I would create a spreadsheet. I would be keeping a list of these as I'm going through these videos. Let's take a look at a couple more. So maybe we actually identify that, you know, hustling. Okay. That's an aspect. That's a keyword in the industry that we want to research. So let's go ahead and just input hustle. And again, we can take a look at some of the top perform videos that come up. We see a couple here from the D'Amelio's. We scroll down, we can see, I'm just looking for something that looks like it's more in the entrepreneur industry. Maybe something like side hustle. I think hustle might just be a little bit ambiguous. ambiguous. Side hustle. We go ahead and search that. Here we see a couple of other videos. You know, we see a couple here, work from home. Okay, there's another keyword, another hashtag that we might utilize. And again, it's all about finding those accounts. You go to users, you know, there's a couple of that that pop up here. Go to hashtags, find some of the accounts, identify some of those, those relevant creators that are very, very similar to your niche. We click side hustle. I think we've already been here. But again, we can just find someone else here. Let's go ahead and, and pick this one. Smart investing, financial education. And here's a lot of niche relevant hashtags. So again, I would create a list, keep tabs on that and utilize those in your own content. So after watching that active research, some of you are probably wondering, okay, so we've identified we need to be using relevant hashtags if we have a niche, but how many should I be using? Should they all be relevant hashtags? Should I have a diversification of specific hashtags in broad hashtags like FYP, For You Page, TikTok Viral? Well, those are actually the questions we're gonna be answering in the second point, which is TikTok hashtag ratios. So there's really three different categories of hashtags on TikTok that you'll notice. Number one are broad tags. Tags like hashtag FYP, For You Page, TikTok Viral, XYZAB, right? The list is extensive. Any tag that really has over 10 billion videos utilizing it. Again, I'm sure there's a lot of others that come to mind. Secondly, there's specific tags, things that are relevant to a particular niche and that niche only. Things like hashtag gamer life, hashtag gamer babe, hashtag call of duty, hashtag PS4, hashtag Mr. Beast gaming, right? I'm describing the gaming community. And then there's a third category. There's one that's kind of right there in the middle between specific and broad hashtags. And it's one that I don't see a lot of people classifying or categorizing and it's actually featured tags. We're talking about the latest and greatest of what you see on the discovery page or what is relevant to TikTok culture during this week particular or whenever you're watching this video. These are the ideas that are most current and active and that people are constantly creating new content around. Ideally, it's great to have a mix of all three of these categories, two that are broad, two that are specific, and two that are featured. I've actually noticed that a lot of top creators tend to do this with their content. I've seen some of them mention it in interviews and I try to practice this myself. However, it's also great to experiment with different structures, right? The whole idea that variety leads to virality the more variables you can introduce, the better. And so what I would encourage you to do is post two videos that use this balance hashtag strategy approach to two, two, and then maybe one video that has a focus with all broad hashtags or all specific relevant hashtags. I want to give you an example. So let's take a look at a good friend of mine, Matt Kama. He's doing a great job of this on TikTok. So his niche focuses on psychology, healing trauma, and mental health. And he's built up a quality audience around that idea. And if we take a look at some of his best performing videos, we see that he uses that balanced hashtag strategy approach. He's got videos that have two specific, two broad, and then two that are in utilizing those trending ideas. Now we take a look at, again, one video that was trending over 1 million views. We see that it's very, very specific with hashtags around one central idea. We keep scrolling, we see the same thing. And then again, it's that variety. Here we have another example of him focusing on his niche in particular and using relevant content, relevant hashtags, excuse me, with an integration of some of the broader ideas. So he's a great example of someone who is diversifying the usage of the balanced hashtag strategy, but also other ideas of getting specific on one video or staying just broad. Now I've got one more thing that I wanna add really, really quickly and hear me out here, it's gonna sound a bit odd, but try videos that utilize no hashtags whatsoever. And I know this idea may sound counterintuitive to this whole video because it's based on an actual strategy for hashtags, but interestingly enough, six out of the 10 most viral videos of 2020, and we're talking videos that have over 250 million plus views, I'm gonna be reviewing those in a later video coming next week, so consider subscribing for that. But interestingly enough, the takeaway here is that those videos, six of them actually had no hashtags whatsoever because the reality is hashtags do help but remember ultimately to take it back to your content. Hashtags help you get your content in front of the right audience much, much faster, but you can't rely just on hashtags for scaling your fan base. There's so much more that goes into skyrocketing your growth than simply the tags you use on your videos. How's your content? Is it high quality? How's your bio? How about your profile picture? Is it 
just another selfie. And there's certainly nothing wrong with that. But remember, you want to be thinking about how can you stand out? How can you provide clarity? How can you go against what the masses are doing and be unique? Finally, let's talk about hashtag research. How can you discover and pinpoint the very best hashtags to utilize in your content. So there's two particular hashtag research methods that I'd like to teach. One we'll be discussing in this video and the other will actually be dropping in a later piece of content next week, simply because I want to take a little bit more time to break that one down in more detail, at least more so than I can convey in this video. And that one deals more with specific quantities of videos utilizing a hashtag, 50 million videos using this particular hashtag or 1 billion utilizing that. And, and we'll certainly talk about that later. So consider subscribing if that's particularly interesting to you. But for this video, here's what I would do for research. Two things. Number one, I would create a short little list of two to three other accounts on TikTok that are very, very similar in the content style and the exact niche that you're in and represent the audience that you want to achieve for yourself, i.e. they have 100,000 followers, you want that same audience. And take a look at their most recent videos, the hashtags that they're utilizing. Open up your laptop, pull out your mobile device and create a list, a spreadsheet of all of the hashtags that they're actively using that you are not because their most recent viral videos are going to be a strategic compass, a trend mapper, an idea generator as far as relevant hashtags go. Pay attention to what they're utilizing in their videos, how you can cycle theirs into your own because that's what's proven to work in your niche. Step number two is you have to know the culture on the platform. It's not enough to simply know what a few select creators are doing in your niche whose success that you want to model because after all, TikTok is a copycat platform. There are objective standards that work across the board. And so you're actually gonna like this step because what I'm going to encourage you to do is to watch a lot of content. Maybe twice a week, you spend about 30 minutes scrolling through the For You page on a particular day and note down any hashtag that you see that occurs more than five times that's not a broad hashtag. Again, we're talking about things like FYP, hashtag For You page, TikTok, TikTok viral, etc. And after some time, you'll probably end up with around 10 good ones that again are basically a common denominator between the viral videos that you see. Just like I mentioned in step one, I would highly recommend that you create a list of these as well. I actually use the app Evernote on my phone. It's very, very easy to create lists and copy and paste those to TikTok very, very seamlessly. And I'd recommend that you use something similar. So that's about it. That is relevancy, ratios, and research. The three R's of understanding and optimizing hashtags on TikTok. But for those of you who stuck around, first of all, thank you for doing so. But to reward you, I really wanna talk about two other bonus tips that will help you understand and implement hashtags a little bit more effectively. Number one is not to make the video descriptions too long. I'm 100% guilty of this myself, but especially when filling out the description for a video, you don't get to see what it looks like when actually placed over the video when it's published. So keep the size of it in mind. A lot of people will bulk it up with hashtags or maximize all the characters available to create the longest caption possible. And the result is once the video is published, it ends up obstructing the lower third of your video, which often in many cases is where the action goes down. As a standard, generally one simple line of text and six hashtags leaves enough space to still enjoy and watch the content without any unnecessary text obstructing what people actually want to watch in the first place. So consider implementing the same structure. Bonus tip number two is with hashtags, the earlier, the better. Guys, what's the old saying? The early bird gets the worm. Well, it's the same idea with trends and their associated hashtags. In fact, just as an example of how effective it is to often capitalize on these hashtags when they are early, I released two videos a couple of weeks ago that got over 600,000 views each by utilizing the hashtag, hashtag voiceover when TikTok initially released that voiceover feature back in the beginning of May. So make sure you just keep your eyes open. If there's an idea hashtag that you think has potential, go for it because it might just be in the early stages and might very well just blow up because of you using it. It certainly has happened. So that's pretty much it. I sincerely hope you got a lot of value from this video and took away a clear understanding of how to go about properly optimizing hashtags for maximizing growth on the TikTok platform in 2020. It's worked wonderfully for me and I'm positive it will for you if you take action and apply the steps that we talked about today. As I mentioned earlier in this video, if you're interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for TikTok coaching, be sure to check the links below this video and there's also some student testimonials there that you can browse through as well. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for future content like this every single week. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care, cheers.